Hi YouTubers, it's me Megan. Good morning. Just wanted to do a quick update and a little bit of a review on some products that I didn't get to review. Here, sorry, my glasses are interrupting me here. Um, that I didn't get to review uh, whenever I did them because I was busy. So, uh, today is May the 25th. It is now like 7 o'clock in the morning. We just got off of work. So, please excuse my do and my, my hair and everything. So, um, first of all, Sunday we went to Fort Worth. So, that Monday I could go to my doctor's and see my dietitian and psychologist. Sunday night we ate at Cheddar's and I ate steak and shrimp a baked potato and broccoli cheese casserole and a roll and I ate dessert yes it was bad so <laughs> I'm not even going to tell you how bad it was I ate it so Monday uh, by the way Cheddar's highly highly recommend Cheddar's they're very cheap but they do have some good options to choose from so just choose wisely Monday we went I saw my dietitian, got all the pre-stuff. I'm doing a two-week clear liquid diet, so that pisses me off, and I'm not looking forward to that. So just to let you know, I start that today. So I'm fixing to go take a shower and go to bed. When I wake up, I will start it. So, but I also talked to my psychologist, and just in case y'all didn't know, WLS the sign for it is a butterfly so it means metamorphosis because you change you go from this fat little caterpillar cocoon yourself and you come out as this beautiful butterfly so I thought that was kind of neat and I love butterflies so anyways so that's going on um, we ate that day at Anzin and had some sushi in a bento box. It was really great. I'm a sushi fanatic, so that was really awesome for me and a good treat. Uh, we also ate at Cheesecake Factory that night, and I took my last fat girl picture, um, if you will, with my husband. It was pretty neat. It was awesome, so I get to pin that up. And my psychologist wants me to do, oh, back to Cheesecake Factory. Sorry, I got off, off track. I ate lemon or chicken piccata, which is the bomb, and I had a piece of Kahlua cheesecake. And then yesterday I took home a lemon cello torte, and I had that. So that is my last. That's the last. That's that's it. That'll that's all she wrote. So I got that out of my system. Last night I ate uh, taco bueno. I know that probably none of y'all know what that is, but it's a really good fast food like Taco Bell except for it's better and I had um, something from Dairy Queen so uh, treated myself last night and that was it and I had some fresh veggies and fruit so won't be able to eat that for a while so anyways I treated myself last night but it did stay good I, I drink water and all that so that's that's good um, so I'm really good diet today uh, which is not good for me um, reviews that I wanted to do, I guess, are, um, the Nectars. I can't have those during my two-week pre-op, but I can after I have surgery. So, just to let you know that I have to have the full meal replacements. I have to have six scoops of that a day. Six. That's three, that's three shakes, really. So, because two scoops is a serving. So, just to let you know. Okay. First up, I have... Nectar strawberry mousse. So this strawberry mousse, let me tell you what it's like. It reminds me, it rem, it makes me reminisce when I drink this. It reminded me of when my niece was born. I stayed with this old woman that they called Granny. There was a little boy and he peed on me. I was extremely upset about that. So I was like five, born on six, and I did not like that at all. My brother brought French toast sticks the next day and she gave us strawberry milk the next quick strawberry milk and this is like this is the exact same thing I mean I feel like I'm eating or drinking Nesquik strawberry Nesquik it is great I mixed it with milk 
love it love it so this gets a five just to let you know five star uh, taste what great mixes well it's great I love it I tried it with milk I haven't tried it with water but milk was off my next review is on twisted cherry this has got to be the bomb there were some people that said that they didn't care for twisted cherry but I love it it's like cherry kool-aid it's great it's awesome this gets a five star it is just totally awesome it's a little creamy but it is the bomb and I mixed it with water drank it after I worked out it was awesome okay so five star I had then I had one day I had a cappuccino drink now let me tell you about the cappuccino drink that I had I mixed this with um, decaf uh, coffee some milk, the cappuccino mix, sugar-free uh, car caramel syrup, and like put it in a little, you know, foamer and drink it. And I put a little bit of Splenda in it. I have got to tell you, um, it was okay. It wasn't my favorite, but it was okay. I want to try this by itself, just to be trying it by itself, to see if I kind of like it at all. Um, just by itself, or really like it at all by itself. But this gets like a three star because I didn't, I couldn't really taste coffee flavor. Could not taste coffee flavor. So a whole bunch. So I don't know if it was me or what. So maybe I just had a goof day. But this right now gets a three. I'm going to try it out later and see how that works. I'll let you know. So cappuccino three, twisted cherry five, and strawberry mousse five. The next thing I'm going to tell you all about is a drink that I concocted myself. I didn't get this off the internet, no recipe or nothing like that. I just came up with it. So, I'm now a mixologist. I took chocolate truffle nectar, mixed it with milk. I put uh, a couple, a little bit of uh, pecans and a couple of squirts of the sugar-free Starbucks uh, caramel syrup and ice. And I blended it up and made a smoothie. I call it a turtle smoothie because it tastes like a freaking turtle. It is the best. It is awesome. It is great. It's just awesome. It's nice. It's next time I'm going to try it a little bit less of pecans, but it was freaking awesome. I have got to just rave about it. It was awesome. So that gets like a five and a half star for me because it's just totally good. So um, there's that, and basically I start my clear liquid diet today. I'm not looking forward to it, guys. I really am not. I mean, I get to have, the only thing that I can have is, that's not clear, is sugar-free hard candy. Um, my protein shakes, blue soda, and, uh, glucose control boost or something like that because I'm diabetic those are the only things and glucerna if you've ever tried one I'm a nurse guys it tastes like a dog's ass it does it just tastes like a, uh, it's gross now somebody said the chocolate's not that bad so we're gonna try that we're gonna see how that works because if it doesn't work I'm screwed I mean I'm just totally screwed I'm really tired right now and I don't know how this whole liquid thing is going to end up. But my husband's going to do it with me. Bless his heart. And I'm just kind of bugged about it right now. I was excited about it because I thought, hey, you can have some soup, you know, yeah, yeah. Can't have no damn soup. Can't have no tomato soup, no cream of chicken, no cream of mushroom. Can't have none of that crap until after surgery. I'm freaking bugging. I'm pissed. And feel like it's a freaking punishment man my whole life has been nothing but a fucking pure punishment and I'm just I'm tired of punishments I'm tired of punishments but I, my psychologist oh I know what I want to tell you my psychologist wanted me to do a ritual and to say goodbye to the big Megan so doing a couple of things and I'm going to get an incentive gift for me so I don't know what that's going to be yet but it's going to be something something just for me uh, I'm gonna do a balloon release with my favorite sneaky snacks on Sunday and do a poem I got my poem all written out and everything it's gonna be sad 
I'm going to love it because it's going to be a separation for me and my comfort foods and it's going to be a chance for me to just break just break it off let it go put my gr big girl panties on and just deal with it another thing I'm going to tell myself goodbye I'm going to do it and that's what I'm going to do so I'll tell y'all how that goes uh, other than that and then I'm going to have a goodbye going away party after I get out of surgery because my mom does not want to do it before so just like I know that I've got some things going on I'll let you know how that works and I'll let you know how it turns out so in case y'all need to do rituals or whatever y'all need to do for your program or whatever I got some ideas so there you have it that's it uh, y'all have a great day um, happy hump day pray for me think about me good god post some comments subscribe to my damn channel I'm uh, just I'm so I'm tired so <laughs> I will see y'all later on I will let you know how my first day goes I will post a video tomorrow have a great night or good morning in your case bye